All right, so let's take a look at our velocity versus time graph. So let's start with taking a look at the slope here. Again, slope is rise over run or delta y over delta x. Our y-axis here is velocity, so that's delta v. And our x-axis is time, so that's delta t. And what is the change in velocity over the change in time? Acceleration. Cool, so on this graph, velocity versus time, our slope now gives us acceleration rather than velocity like it did on the position versus time graph. Cool, it turns out we get one more helpful piece of info off this graph, so, and that is the area under the curve. And again, technically that means area both above and below the x-axis here. So it turns out like this area versus this area. So in this case, that area, turns out, gives us displacement. Cool, if you recall from calculus, for those of you that have calculus, when you take an integral, you're taking the area under the curve. And it turns out if you take the integral, so a VDT here, you actually get displacement. So it turns out acceleration, velocity, and displacement are all related, related through derivatives or integrals, depending on which way you go. Now, you guys don't need calculus, so, but the key is that area under the curve equals displacement. So if you're looking at position versus time graph, you should know the slope of the graph gives you your velocity, and the area gives you nothing. But when you see velocity versus time, you're supposed to know that the slope gives you acceleration and the area now gives you displacement. So, and I believe that's the first question I ask you here. Yeah, what is the net displacement after six seconds? So here, the things that are above zero on the uh, y-axis here, that's positive displacement, and below zero, negative displacement. And so here you can kind of get an idea that is it overall more positive or more negative? More negative. So, and we can just start breaking this up here. I'm going to break this top positive displacement up into a square and a couple triangles. Uh, what's the area of a square? Uh, length times width, or side squared, and that's one times one, so that's an area of one. What's the area of a triangle? One half base times height, base is one, height is one, one times one times a half is a half. So in this little triangle, height is one, base is a half, one times a half is a half times the half is one fourth. And I can see my positive displacement here is gonna be one and three quarter total. If we do the same thing with the negative displacement, the displacement on the other side, I've got a triangle there, a square there, a triangle there, and a rectangle there. In this case, let's do the square and the rectangle first. Square, one times one is one. Area of a rectangle, length times width. One times two is two. Let's get the little triangles now. So one half base times height. Uh, height is one, base is a half. One times one, I'm sorry, one half times one times a half is one fourth as well. And this triangle base is two, height is one, two times one times a half is one. And I see four and a quarter here on the negative displacement. So definitely more negative. And if I take the difference here, I get an overall displacement. Let's we'll make that negative. I get an overall displacement. What's four and a quarter minus one and three quarter? Two and a half, and that's our overall displacement, negative in this case, two and a half. Next question, where's the velocity positive, negative, and zero? And again, what, where do I get velocity off this graph? Ooh, I don't get it from the slope. I get acceleration from the slope. Recall, velocity is simply the y-axis. Anywhere we're above zero, that's positive velocity. Anywhere we're below zero, that's negative velocity moving backwards. So in this case, where's the velocity positive, negative, and zero? It's zero when it's zero, on zero there and there, and that's it. It's positive everywhere up here. So don't get confused, the, the velocity is not slope. You might be like, Chad, there's a negative slope right there. I don't care. Velocity is positive everywhere above zero on the y-axis and negative everywhere below zero. Cool. Now the question, where's the acceleration, positive, negative, or zero? And so in this case, acceleration is our slope. We have an uphill slope here from zero to one. That's a positive acceleration. No slope right here. That's zero acceleration. So we have a negative slope from uh, two to three seconds. That's a negative acceleration. Again, our slope goes to zero from three to four. No, no acceleration. And our slope is negative from four to six. Again, negative acceleration. Um, Last question on there is, what is the acceleration from t equals two seconds to three seconds? So from two 
to three. And if I'm asking the acceleration, I'm just asking for what's the slope. So if we look at our slope there, equals rise over run. Our rise, we're going down two, so that's negative two. And our run is going over one second. And so we end up with an acceleration of negative two in whatever units this happens to be a graph of. Great. I have one more question for you. Where on this lovely graph is this object speeding up? Does that mean the same thing as positive acceleration? Well, let's look at this here. So here I start out at zero velocity, and over the course of one second, I end up with a velocity of one, and we were speeding up. So in this case, it turns out speeding up and slowing down, what those actually refer to is not necessarily positive and negative acceleration, but the relationship between velocity and acceleration. If velocity and acceleration both point in the same direction, in this case, either both positive or both negative, then we're speeding up. If they're both positive, we're speeding up in the, uh, getting a more and more positive velocity. If they're speeding up in the negative direction, they're both negative, it just means we're speeding up going backwards. Uh, in this case, where are our acceleration and velocity having the same sign? Where are they both positive? Now, they're both positive right here. So there you're speeding up. So where are they both negative? Well, they're both negative definitely here. So velocity is negative because we're below the axis and our slope is negative, so acceleration is negative. So we're speeding up in the reverse direction there, but also right here. Notice not the entire line, just this second half. Below zero, the velocity is negative and the slope is downhill and also is negative. And so we're speeding up again in the backwards direction right there. So then where are we slowing down? Only place we're slowing down is right there. So our velocity right there is positive because we're above the axis. So, but our acceleration is negative because we have a downhill slope. And that's slowing down when your velocity and acceleration are in opposite directions. Cool.